Hey guys, it's Jake with Bartlett Arbor Supply. Uh, today we're going to take a look at some GoPro cameras and all the different possibilities we have with them. These little cameras are awesome. You can pretty much put them anywhere you want, as you can tell from all the TV shows and all the different areas where they're using GoPro cameras. You can stick them on the inside of a car, you can put them on a motorcycle, on a bicycle, on animals, on all types of things. Today we're going to put them on a chainsaw, we're going to put them on a helmet, we're going to put them on some limbs that we're removing, and uh, some other cool things. So we'll take a look and see what we can do, and we'll take a look at the different mounts and the different options with the cameras as well. So one of the first things we're going to look at uh, is, is the camera itself. They come in these nice hard cases. Uh, I've dropped mine out of trees. Uh, I've dropped trees on the camera. I've done some pretty mean things to my GoPros, and they last. They last through and through. They're waterproof up to 131 feet. So if it's raining out, uh, if it's drizzling, if there's snow, if you drop in a mud puddle, it's, it's going to last. These things are really, really strong, really nice. So some of these mounts that we have, uh, we have a flat mount right here. The camera easily just slides right in and it clips in place and it locks in place. And then we also have a curved mount, which is real nice for attaching to uh, helmets and stuff like that, obviously with curved surfaces. Flat mount will work great on the chainsaw where we're going to put it uh, or other flat surfaces and it's just 3M uh, sticky adhesive on the back. This is another mount that goes in place of the traditional GoPro mount on the bottom of the camera. And this just gives you a little bit more mobility and it lifts it off a little bit uh, up off the surface of where you're filming from. So you can tilt it farther forward or farther backwards. Uh, that's a nice little option. This is actually an angle option. So you can change the, the actual angle of the camera so you could stick it sideways off something or in all kinds of different you know, situations where you might need this. Uh, probably in a little bit tighter situations. Uh, and lastly, one of my favorite mounts, or accessories we'll say, is uh, this headband mount. Uh, this works real great for helmets. It has a sticky adhesive, uh, almost like gel on the inside, so it keeps it stuck right to a helmet. Uh, so if you, let's say you ride motorcycles, you ride mountain bikes, and you do tree work, it's nice because this is totally modular. You can switch it from each helmet, opposed to having a stationary mount on each one of your helmets. So this is a really cool option. So this is a GoPro Hero 4 Silver Edition. The Silver Edition has a touch screen on the back and a, an LCD screen, so you can see it there. Uh, this is really nice because it gives you the option to actually see exactly what your camera is seeing, so you can line up your shots perfectly. Where before, none of the cameras had the back screen. Uh, it was an added option that you had to pay extra for. This camera actually comes with it. Um, and it's nice too, it's touch screen, so you can go through all the menus opposed to the kind of archaic pushing buttons trying to figure out where to get the, uh, the modes at uh, with the other cameras. Um, this shoots in 4K at 15 frames per second. It shoots in uh, 2.7K, 1440, 1080p uh, at all different frame rates. Uh, to give you an idea about 4K, uh, 1080p is what we see on TV in high definition. So 4K is actually four times larger than that. So that means if you wanted to take your 4K footage and pull a high resolution frame out of it, you could do that anywhere on that frame and it would still be in 1080p. So that's a really cool option. Uh, your file sizes are going to be huge, so keep that in mind when you are filming like that. Now we're going to go cut some wood and then uh, we'll show you some clips of what you can do with your own GoPro camera. You can do things like uh, drop trees with it attached, you can do some crane work with it attached to the top of the tree, uh, maybe some speed line stuff, maybe speed line it into the ground. Uh, all kinds of fun stuff, some helmet camera footage and that kind of stuff. So stay tuned and we'll show you some stuff. 